A local Army captain who is the only amputee to get through special forces assessment selection is helping to test a new prosthetic hand. In tonight's ABC 7 Salutes, Eyewitness News reporter Tony Cabrera explains the technology is giving hope to people who feel they cannot move on. Flex inside the cuff and it will change the grip. Army Captain Kerry Duvall is helping test a new robotic prosthetic hand that is changing the game for amputees across the world. Big hook here is a uh, gesture control where I can I can literally just flex inside the cuff and it automatically changes the setup of the hand to a different grip. Captain Duvall lost his hand in an IED attack in Afghanistan six years ago. I knew right away that my hand wasn't coming back. It was pretty jacked up. After little to no success with previous prosthetics, he eventually discovered Westlake Village interface company BioDesigns. Their prosthetic allowed him to return to weightlifting, CrossFit and yoga, and even allowed him to return to his job in the infantry, becoming the only amputee to get through special forces assessment selection. I went from having a, a, an extremely atrophied right arm uh, to actually uh, getting volume and mass back. Ultimately, that's that's our goal is is you get on with your life. You you you, you don't even think about what you're wearing. It's it's part of you. Biodesign CEO Randall Alley is now proud to help take it to the next level, becoming the first facility in the country to test their interface with a new robotic hand made by a company called Brain Robotics. Instead of thinking I'm going to use my muscles a certain way, he just thinks of the grip he's going to use and it goes right to it because the pattern recognition recognizes that pattern after being calibrated and trained. Technology that's giving hope to people who feel they can't move on. The fact that that stuff continues to evolve is really going to help out uh, not just other hand amputees, but people with uh, different levels of amputation and um, you know uh, different injuries. Brain Robotics is waiting for FDA approval for the hand. The company hopes to launch the product early next year. Tony Cabrera, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.